On first glance, this aircraft may look familiar, but if you look closer, you'll realize it's quite a unique bird. There's not very many of these airplanes. There were only 13 made. This is the only one left flying, and we're really excited to have it back in front of the crowds here at, uh, at Oshkosh Air Venture 2016. This actual airplane, amazingly, was in Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. It was on its way to Thailand as part of an order of six that went to the Royal Thai Air Force. When it looked like the Japan was going to overrun Southeast Asia, they recalled those airplanes and they happened to be on a ship in Pearl Harbor on December 7th, which is one reason was a good year to bring it back out to show the, uh, all of our fellow EAAers this year this uh, iconic airplane. Not only does this airplane have a fascinating past, its previous pilot is a bit of an icon here as well. The last person who flew this airplane at, uh, at Oshkosh was our, our friend and uh, mentor, you know, Paul Poberezny. And I, every time, even right now, sitting talking about it, I'm in disbelief that they asked me to go out and fly the airplane in front of the crowd again. And talking to everybody here at AirVenture, they've come up to the airplane. It's so wonderful to see it fly again. And while it's wonderful to see it fly, what every aviation junkie really wants to know is what does it feel like in the air? I thought it was going to be a lot more like a T-6 than it is. Actually, even to the point of got a measuring stick out, running around the airplane and then comparing it to EAA's T-6 to see where it was the same and see what was different about it. Because by learning kind of those little bits and pieces about the airframe, you have a better idea how it's going to fly once you take it up. It has a phenomenal roll rate compared to the T-6, and it just climbs like a homesick angel. It just loves to be in the sky. Paul may not be here, but this P-64 has certainly found its home and is among friends. You know, it's really great to be up here at AirVenture. Seeing this airplane fly again for the uh, very first time in over 28 years at AirVenture is just phenomenal. It's like coming home again back to Oshkosh and being with our friends. Is, that's what Oshkosh is all about. As Paul always said, it's all about the people.